Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at another example of um, a function and then we'll look at um, a way of finding the critical points or the turning points, the nature of those critical points and then um, the coordinates of those critical points. Okay, so this time we're going to pick a different example. We're going to pick y is equal to 3x to the power 5 minus 5x cubed plus 3. How do we find a critical point? It is at the point at which the first derivative is equal to zero. So we find the first derivative of our curve, which is the y dx is equal to 15x to the power 4 minus 15x to the power 2. Okay, and because this is going to be a critical point, it means the first derivative is equal to zero. So now we have 15x to the power 4 minus 15x to the power 2 equal to zero. I see a common factor which is 15x to the power 2. We we'll put that out and we we'll left with x squared minus 1. This is equal to zero. Okay, so this means that um, 15x squared equal to zero means x is equal to zero. And then we also have x squared minus 1 is equal to zero and this will mean that x is equal to plus or minus 1. So there are three critical points in our, in our curve okay so now that we know the x part we want to know the y coordinates so when x is equal to zero well there's going to be a y we've been given that y is equal to three so wherever we see x we're going to put zero there minus five times zero to the power three plus three and this is going to give us three so our first coordinate is at a point zero comma three Okay, then our second critical point is at when x is equal to 1, then our y becomes 1 times, sorry, 3 times 1 to the power 5 minus 5 times 1 to the power 3 plus 3, and this is going to be 3 minus 5 plus 3, this is equal to 1, so the next critical point is at 1 comma 1. Then the last is at when x is equal to negative 1 so our y becomes 3 times negative 1 to the power 5 minus 5 times negative 1 to the power 3 plus 3 this is equal to minus 3 then this will be plus 5 plus 3 and this is equal to 5 so the next critical point is minus 1 and then 5 Okay, so um, now that we know all the coordinates of our three critical points, we know, want to know the nature of these critical points, whether it's a saddle point or it, um, it's a relative maximum or it's a relative minimum. So we find a second derivative and evaluate them at all these critical points. So our second derivative, which is dx squared, so d squared y over dx squared is equal to um, 60x to the power 3 minus 30x. Okay, so we're going to evaluate these at all the critical points. The first one is when x is equal to 0. Okay, and so uh, this will give us 0. Okay, so when the second derivative evaluated at the critical point is equal to zero, that will give us a saddle point. Okay, it's neither negative nor positive, so it's a saddle point. Then the second one evaluated at this um, second derivative, which is x is equal to one, that will give us 60 minus 30, which is 30. This is greater than zero, so this point is going to be a relative minimum. Then the last one, which is 60s cubed minus 30x, evaluated at x is equal to minus 1, will give us um, negative 60 plus 30, which is equal to negative 30 this is a negative number so this point is a relative maximum 
Okay. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section.